Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to make a little video here. I've been getting a lot of requests recently in the comments. Uh, kind of after my PV videos I've been making the last few episodes. Uh, I'm getting a lot of requests from people about my post FX settings and my graphic settings. Because uh, they kind of like like the way the game looks on my videos, which is pretty uh, self explanatory. It does look a little bit different for most people. So, obviously, the post FX settings I've had. Uh, um, so, I'll quickly show my graphic settings I have set up. Nothing crazy. Um, but as you can see, we'll go straight into it, not messing about. So straight away, screen resolution. Uh, I've only got a 90 times 20 uh, actual screen itself. Put it at full screen mode. Aspect ratio 16.9. That's just my monitor. Little Acer little thing. Hopefully, get an upgrade soon. Uh, there's nothing crazy there. So moving down to so actual get settings itself. So uh, for my objects, I can't actually modify these whilst I'm in RAID. Uh, but as you can see, what it's actually coming out. Overall graphics is on, should be on custom. I don't know why it's set to low. Uh, maybe because you're in, in game. But that is. Uh, that would be actually set to custom, as you can see. The overall quality is high and ultra. Um, so my text quality is currently sitting at high. Shadows quality is ultra. Object LOD quality is four. Um, overall visibility is three thousand. I sometimes maybe lower that when I go into streets, but sometimes I just let it let it sit as high. Um, that's probably why I get lag sometimes. Uh, anti aliasing is TA high. Uh, resampling one times is off. Nvidia DLSS is off as well. MDFSR off because I've not got like I've got a not bad computer, but it's not insanely beastly. Uh, AMD FSR 2.2 is off. Well, I'm not too sure what this stuff does to you first, just pixel resolution and scan, I suppose. Technology HBO color ultra is what I've set that one to be. So we've got a few options there. Of course, got a few options here. I could probably actually play around with some of the stuff, but I'm just showing what I've got right now. Um, just for a quick video here, but maybe in the future, I might actually try and play around the settings and see what I can get the optimal best resolution and settings I can get for my computer but for right now it's just a quick one to update you guys of what I've actually currently got SSR is on low anti uh, strophic filtering is on Nvidia reflex low latency is on sharpness are set to 2 uh, lobby FPS limit is set to 60 game FPS is 144 MIP stream buffer size is 48 MIP stream disk usage is 1024 which is quite high uh, put Zedbur on uh, high quality colors off chroma uh, aberrations off noise is off and the grass shadows is on mip streaming and streets of talk of lower texture resolution mode is uh is off them too that might be quite a good thing to test that out actually um so that is my graphic settings as you can see and um, probably quite low in in some areas compared to probably others other computers that are quite beastly um here's a big question the post fx settings keep getting a lot of uh, questions about this getting a lot of messages on discord and Steam actually and um, YouTube as well uh, about post effects. So here it is. Uh, the color grading is sent to Montreal. Intensity is 39. Color blind modes is on Tritonopia, whatever you pronounce that. Tritonopia. Um, and intensity is on 39 again. Uh, you can click visualize and actually see it. Um, that's it. Not actually in game. That's not. Well, it is a little bit because the color is changing a little bit. Uh, so brightness 100, saturation 100, clarity is 0, colorfulness is 60, luma sharpen is 100, and adaptive sharpen is on 0. So as you can see, we'll just uh, flick through some of the maps here, and we'll just see side by side the difference with the post effects on and the post effects off. Um, so yeah, it's quite, it looks quite nice. It, it varies um, depending on time of day and stuff like that map. Um, some colors do a little bit crazy, you might want to play around with it, but this works for me. I think it looks quite nice, it doesn't look so dull, uh, it looks quite juicy, so I quite like it. So yeah, you can see the comparison can be quite quite, uh, quite bold in some some of the time of days. It looks very very dark and droopy without any post effect. When you put that post effects on it, it kind of brightens it up just a little bit more. Um, just so it doesn't look so dull. Uh, it does actually, I feel like it kind of helps when you're playing for long periods of time where it doesn't look so much just in your screen. It's just a boring blend um, sometimes because the dark, the, the game can be quite dark um, and not very saturated. So bringing those colors out does actually make it quite nice. But it's up to you. It's saying you have the option to play the post effects to make the game look how you want it to look. So, yeah. Well, I hope this helped. And um, this little little video here, some of you requesting the post effects settings. I will also put a photo uh, link, I think maybe below, if I can do that. Or uh, not, just link to Discord and you just ping a message. I can send you the photos of the things, but you can just pause it and look at the settings. Um, but probably in the future, I'll probably adjust the graphic settings and whatnot. I'll probably get some comments in this, in this uh, video below. Um, Tell me what I should adjust to make things a little bit better and faster, I'm sure. So I'm sure I'll probably in the future we'll have some, some graphic settings uh, videos with a bit more testing on it. So I hope that helped, and I'll see you next one.